Hey guys, what's up? So right now I'm just hanging around my place. Today's a Saturday. Uh, I'm gonna upload this video a few days later because I have to edit it. But anyways, I um, got three steps in showing you how to confront your friend. But first off, I have to throw this rubbish away if you can see it right here. Anyways, I'll see you later. <music> One thing about this is I actually got it from a uh, lecturer. Like, sure, there was this guy who taught me how to like um, <clears throat> how to like confront like these situations. But um, I'm just gonna do a little bit more research just in case. Have you had that friend that's like really uh, in trouble in that time and you really really want to help them out but like and sometimes you just don't know what to say and like when it, you feel like if you want to say something to them you feel like you might hurt them or like um, just like disrespect her or something. Have you had that feeling? Because I have. I once had this friend she had this huge drinking problem. She would literally go to partying like every single day. And I felt like I really wanted to tell her that like um, like she's, she's slightly alcoholic and like I just want to help her out. But I didn't know what to say to her. A few moments later. I really want to help her but like if I tell her like I might hurt her feelings and then like I uh, won't be friends with her anymore. I mean that's the least thing I want to happen right. So how do I do it? What do I do? And um actually from uh, my lectures so far I actually learned there are three steps to actually helping you like confront and help out your friend so I just want to tell you right now very first step is actually be supportive and what I mean by supportive is not saying like um, support their that behavior say like if someone's taking drugs you don't want to support that right so, uh, first thing is actually to like with, like be with them at that time to in, like say invite them to like a like a little dinner or something like or maybe just have lunch together or something like that. Show it, it's like something that you are um, having fun with them. Like say like you're like a family together that you can be together, have fun, make them feel like they're actually a part of your friendship bond. Just realized I got this bag of clothing to fold into my closet. Yeah. As I was uh, cleaning my room, I found my Rubik's Cube, which I haven't played in many, many years. This is incredible. So step two is the hardest part. This is start like the part when you actually like have to be a little bit more frank with them. You have to be more direct with them. You have to um, not in a way that's like judging someone, but uh, it's more of a way that you actually care for someone, showing that you care for someone that say like um, oh I want to invite you to a party man but like there's something I just want to tell you at first um, I don't want you to get too drunk and then you explain to them like why step three is like um, it's a moment when they're all a little bit like down so you have what you want to be more supportive again so step three is support again so I just want to say that like this time they're gonna be like a bit low they could be thinking like, oh my gosh, oh, no, like that. So you got to be more supportive. You got to tell them that you are with them. You can help them, that you'll be there for them. Like you're my friend, right? We are friends and friends help each other. And I really want to help you. Six and a half hours later. Yeah, me and my friends are just going to go out and eat today. Yeah, it's a thing we do on every Saturday. So I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Yeah.
It's really beautiful here. Check it out. Uh, check this place out. So beautiful here. Guys, this is gonna be the end of my vlog today. <clears throat> it's really windy around here. Hope we <laughs> hope it won't be too loud. <laughs> See ya.